So you click this link, mushroom, because maybe you're an aspiring reviewer and you want to get free samples and become a reviewer. Here is a video for you, but I don't want to discourage you if you have the mindset of getting free samples. It's probably going to be a rough road for you. But yeah, in this video, I'm going to be sharing how I became a, a reviewer and maybe share some tips as well on how you can you can be one and I hope you learn something about it. And yeah, there are two types of reviewing. One is doing a written review and one is doing videos like this. I do both and most of my content, like if I write something and I make a video of it, the content is not redundant. It's a little bit different. But yeah, I'm gonna start with sharing my story. So I started doing reviews when I was in Japan, maybe three or four years ago. And I, I was the same as you. I was a consumer. I, I still am. I, I still buy sets now. Yeah, I was able to try different IMs there because Japan, you know, e-earphones. I can audition sets. I met Timmy there. We became buddies because I lived in Osaka. So I tried some of his sets. I met Critical and Banban. Do you know Banban? Oh. Banban is the one responsible for the graph comparison tool on Discord. So that's Banban right there. Yeah, it was funny because when we first met and then we went to an izakaya, it was so fun. It was very memorable. But it, it doesn't make sense because I don't even remember how I got home. I don't, don't have a memory of it, but... <laughs> Yeah, I was I was crazy. It was a it was a fun night. But yeah, anyhow, you know that that's that's how I started. I was in Japan and trying out different earphones. So my tip number one: engage the community. You know, so at that time there were some Facebook groups, Chi Fi Audio Reviews. It was different. Um, people were just sharing their thoughts, taking pictures of their sets and sharing their music. You know, it's not really a review, but people were expressing, they were posting what they think about, you know, their their IMs. You might want to engage with the community as well, you know, post pictures and express how you feel about, about something. So writing something, it's... For me, it's more of like photography. You know, you capture that moment wherein your emotion flows and put it into writing. For me, it's a skill because not everyone can do it, but with practice, you get better at expressing your thoughts and putting it into writing. So I suggest that you engage in the community, Facebook, Discord, stuff like that, and just practice how you're able to convey what you hear. So yeah, that's my tip number one. My tip number two is read reviews and make it make sense. It, I think it's common knowledge. Like if you want to learn a skill, you have to watch something and see how people are doing it. So reading reviews is looking at how people write something about it. So I, I, at that time, I was reading a lot of reviews and I'm partly inspired by Andy, you know, the dangle madness. At that time, he was writing reviews and Man, like he writes long reviews, written reviews, and the way he describes music, you can listen, <laughs> literally. I mean, you can have an idea of how an I am sounds just because of how he writes. And I got inspired by that. Yeah, and then many other people as well. I can't I can't remember. But yeah, I I am um, basically you you want to read uh, reviews from HeadFi. Um, some reviews may be interesting, some are boring, but which would lead to my next tip, which is, you know, because you want to make it make sense, right? And you want to know like what they mean by what they say. You know, like at that time, I was like, what is macrodynamics? What is macrodynamics? It didn't make sense to me. However, I was lucky enough because I was in Japan so I could audition sets and make it make sense. And so you really have to audition. So if you can't audition, at least go to meetups, you buy products and make it make sense for you. Like why would a certain reviewer tell something about this or describe the bass like this, describe the tre treble like this. So it just makes sense to, you know, really hear a lot of sets and, you know, compare your impressions with other people. So basically audition and try out different sets if you can. I know a lot of people don't have access to it and probably the only, the only way you can do that is to buy an IM, which is, you know, some people might not 
even afford, but that is a limitation. My next tip is finding your style. In reviewing, I think there are two main approaches to reviewing. One is the creative approach and one is the objective approach. I see it like um, and the objective approach would be akin to like writing a, writing a, a scientific paper and a creative approach would be like writing a novel if that makes sense so yeah find your style i'm not saying that any of them are bad or good but for me the creative approach resonates me better i guess i mean in my reviews i do have some objectivity there like graphs and stuff when i write reviews of course i started with the objective one because it's easier to write something about the tonality the bass the mids the treble the text stuff like that but the more i write the more it became redundant it's like i'm not really expressing my emotions well with an objective review and so that's why when i write i incorporate stories and it's just a style of writing so find one that that fits for you the next step would be improve your other skills because reviewing man you can't believe like i acquired more skills and got deeper into different rabbit holes just because i started reviewing so one of that is photography and uh, of course when i started reviews i was just using my camera like the phone camera but you know like looking at other reviews their shots are really good so i started using my dslr which i didn't know how to use at that time and so because of that i started learning about the basics of photography aperture buying lenses and stuff like that but yeah um, it improved my skill set on photography and i can't believe because now i'm, I'm even doing street photography and i, I I wouldn't be doing that if I didn't start reviewing. So yeah, it opened doors to different hobbies and you know passions and just the, the, the creative aspect in general. Video editing as well. So I mean, I used to edit videos before, but not as uh, frequent as uh, doing video reviews. So that also improved my skills. So if you already have those skill sets, then you're probably one step ahead of you know other aspiring reviewers. The next step would be continue with passion. Remember that the reason why we are in this hobby is because of, you know, the love for music. And I think that the, the, the love for music takes precedence with the gear itself, if that makes sense. You know, you, you like, like you didn't like step in into the um, audio hobby because you loved an equipment and a loving music. We stepped in here because we love music first and then kind of like learn about the different signatures and the different technicalities of, of the gear. So I say that because like even until now, like I don't really get monetized. Uh, when I started reviewing, I didn't expect anything in return. I didn't expect to get samples. I just wrote with passion. You know, I just expressed what I felt at that time when I was listening and you know, trans transcribing what I feel into words. So that passion there in the creative side of reviewing will fuel your it will fuel you because if that's why because i said in the in the, the first place if your mindset is just getting samples it's gonna be a rough road for you because sometimes you don't really get samples you don't get the ims what you you know that you want but what would drive you in my case it's just passion like i can write something about casey be happy about it and transcribe my feelings and write them into words so you know, you should have at least, you know, some a little bit of passion to continue writing or making videos. Be ready also, you know, that there may be people who would disagree with you and would bash you with your preferences. For me, it doesn't really make sense. Like if, you know, if you write something, maybe you can disagree in a, you know, in a civil way. There are ways to criticize a review, but don't don't hate someone for their preferences. It's like hating someone for liking bananas, which is crazy. That's just, you know, very prejudiced and it's closely related to racism, to being a- What? What the f my next step would be address the limitations you may have. Of course, there are limitations like, for example, English or the language. Most of the reviews out there are done in English, so you may not be proficient with the language. Maybe you can practice or maybe you can write reviews in your own language. There are groups in, in you know, like in Asia, like, uh, like in Indonesia and Malaysia, they write reviews in their own language 
which may work for you if you speak Japanese, Chinese, or whatever. Address the, the limitations. Confidence also is one big role. If you're starting out with, you know, videos, you have to be confident to showing your face. <coughs> Of me yeah also be confident in sharing your thoughts in in social media if you're doing written reviews the lack of equipment and knowledge you may not have the proper equipment a camera a good camera if you're you know doing videos or just photography in general knowledge in a way that the sets that you may be hearing it may be it may be limited so you may be biased to a certain price range because you've only heard this much and of course the lack of access and money so that's just how it is you know if you have the access and you have the capability to buy stuff you can just you know review more and th those limitations are just you know it, it, it may be hard for you and the last one finally you get recognized and so when you get recognized you know like companies or stores see your work then you you get samples sometimes i email them if i you know sometimes i don't get responses sometimes i get responses but yeah the, the passion that i have for music drives me it just drives me in in writing and and creating videos yeah don't forget to uh love music and if you find this video helpful subscribe to my channel and you know like my videos and um yeah see you in my next one